Mr. President, I rise today to, com to commemorate Black History Month and to pay tribute to a Pennsylvanian who has dedicated her life to public service. Today we honor former Philadelphia Councilwoman Marion Benton Tasco, whose 50-year career in public service has improved the lives of countless people in our state. Throughout her career, Marion Tasco consistently fought for the people of her community. From her first days as a typist working in the city of Philadelphia to the end of her seventh term serving on the city council, Marion Tasco's life has been dedicated to helping people. Today we celebrate Marion's commitment to public service. Born during the days of segregation in Greensboro, North Carolina, Marion Tasco was joyfully raised through the love and care of her mother, Maisie Benton, great-grandmother Susie Short, and grandparents Alice and Thomas Benton. At an early age, Marion expressed an interest in community service through volunteer activities with the Brownies and Girl Scouts of America. Even as a child, Marion Tasco was inspired to help others. It was at this point in her life that Marion imagined that she would go on to become an educator. With that goal in mind, she began her education at Bennett College, a historically black liberal arts college for women located in Greensboro. Working dur during the summers to pay for her tuition, Marion had to leave Bennett after two years when she could no longer afford to pay the cost of tuition. Later in life, Marion would return to Bennett College as a member of the Board of Trustees and actively work to support the growth of the college. After leaving Bennett, Marion Tasco moved to Philadelphia to be with her family and continue her education at Temple University. Again, working to pay her way through school, she attended classes at night until her graduation. While she maintained a strong interest in serving others, she decided that politics and government rather than education would be her venue for service. In 1959, Marion began her work for the city of Philadelphia as a clerk typist one in the Philadelphia Police Department's Pawn Brokers Division. Not long thereafter, as a result of her diligent work, she was promoted to clerk typist two. In this new role, she was reassigned to the registrar's office of the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Like many others who have served the public, Marion Tasco's story in politics began on the front lines of the community, the community that she would later go on to serve. Under the leadership of a distinguished lawyer, Charles Bowser, Marion served as a task force coordinator for the Greater Philadelphia Urban Affairs uh, Coalition. This was an organization that she continues to serve today as a board member. One of Marion's greatest accomplishments was the creation of a youth-focused summer work program that still exists today. Her experience at the Urban Affairs Coalition affirmed her interest in public affairs and community outreach and helped increase her understanding of the needs of the African-American community in Philadelphia. As her career progressed and new opportunities emerged, Marion Tasca remained committed to the path of service. Following her work as an assistant to the former Secretary of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, C. Dolores Tucker, Marion brought her passion for, for service to the office of the late U.S. Congressman, William H. Gray, who also, of course, served as House Minority Whip and Chairman of the Budget Committee. She worked as both campaign manager and also Director of Constituent Services for Congressman Gray. Serving with Secretary Tucker and Congressman Gray made Marion Tasco worthy of recognition, but Marion wanted to do more. She decided that with her years of experience in community activism and public service, she would seek elected office. It was at the urging of Marion's mentor, former representative, city councilman and secretary of public welfare, John White Jr., that she made the decision to seek elected office. In 1983, Marion became the first African-American elected Philadelphia City Commissioner. 
Instantly, she helped develop voter education and registration programs in the city and worked to grow civic education focusing on Philadelphia's young people. In 1988, Marion began her first term on the Philadelphia City Council as a representative for the 9th District of the city. For over 27 years, she served a number of communities, including East Oak Lane, West Oak Lane, Mount Airy, Alney, Logan, Longcrest, and Oxford Circle. She would go on to be reelected seven times and pioneer initiatives to improve the quality of life for Philadelphians, young and old. Throughout her tenure in office, Councilwoman Tasco's role continued to grow in responsibility and scope. She eventually rose to serve as Philadelphia City Council's majority leader, as well as majority whip. Marion Tasco has served as ward leader for the 50th Ward of Philadelphia for the last three decades. Also, she was unanimously elected by the Pennsylvania Democratic State Committee to represent Pennsylvania on the Democratic National Committee. In this DNC role, Councilwoman Tasco's reach went, grew beyond Philadelphia into the national political arena. She helped institute meaningful change in Philadelphia and literally across the nation. Among other issues, she worked to fight predatory lending and her work in that area positively impacted the lives of many Philadelphians. Her commitment to, quote, protect Americans from unscrupulous dealings of financial institutions, unquote, spanned both Broad Street and Wall Street and helped inspire some of President Barack Obama's work. Her advocacy on this issue dates back to the early 1990s when she worked with community organizations to alert Philadelphia residents about the potential harm of money offered by loan sharks. In 2004, she briefed then State Senator Obama on the issue during his campaign for the United States Senate. In commemoration of her efforts, President Obama invited Councilwoman Tasco to join him for the signing of the historic Dodd-Frank legislation. Marion Tasco's accomplishments in public office made Philadelphia a better place to live and work, and the people of Philadelphia's largest city remembered. Her retirement celebrations had over 1,200 attendees, including elected officials, labor leaders, community leaders, clergy, and of course, constituents, the people she served. Councilwoman Tasco is a beloved figure throughout the city of Philadelphia and beyond. She's beloved by her peers and those that she represented as a councilwoman. Marion's work in public service was a shining example for others to follow. Philadelphia mayor and former city council member, Jim Kenney, and former mayor and councilman, Michael Nutter, have both cited the councilwoman as a mentor. In fact, Mayor Kenney even noted that Councilwoman Tasco, quote, raised him, unquote, from the age of 32 when he was a new council member. She also has a proven legacy of recognizing and developing young talent on her own team. Two current members of, of Philadelphia City Council, Derek Green and Cheryl Parker, and the late Judge Brenda Frazier Clemens, all served as members of her staff. Councilwoman Marion Tasco's lifetime of service has been the subject of commendation. She has received a notable list of awards and honors including the honorary, honorary Doctor of Laws degree from Lincoln University. Her years of work to improve the city of Philadelphia resulted in a lifetime appointment to the Board of Directors for the Board of City Trusts. The Philadelphia Cultural Fund and the Pennsylvania Convention Center Authority Board, just to name a few. For her advocacy on behalf of behavioral health programs and work to push local health care reforms, the former Lindley Court Senior Living Apartments were renamed in her honor. Marion Tasco has spent the better part of her life working to improve her community, and she has inspired the next generation of public servants. As we celebrate this Black History Month, we honor those who have made a real commitment to serve others. 
Marion Tasco is always honored that commitment. On behalf of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the city of Philadelphia, and all those whose lives have been impacted and inspired by her work, it is my privilege on this day to pay tribute to Marion Tasco, a former member and leader of the City Council of Philadelphia, a devoted public servant who worked her way from clerk typist one to citywide leader with national impact. So well done, Marion. Your adopted city and our Commonwealth is proud of your noble work.